Alright, uh, let's look at the homework 2.2, 2.3, problem number 10. Alright, so uh, based on this uh, given uh, information, uh, we want to come up with this um, uh, piecewise defined function. Alright, so uh, let's do that. Alright, so base charge is going to be $7. Alright, so it's going to be uh, $7. Um, so actually, what's, what's the name of the function? Uh, w of x. So w of x is equal to. Alright, so for the first uh, 500 uh, kilowatt hour is uh, so when x is um, so if x is less than or equal to 500. Alright. Uh, the uh, charge is going to be, so base charge, which is $7. On top of that, uh, you're going to have, you're going to have to pay uh, 0 0.05. So I'm using uh, uh, this information right here. Uh, per uh, kilowatt hour. So it's going to be uh, X. Right, so uh, this is going to be the uh, for the first uh, 500. Right, then over 500, so that's going to be so first 500, so that's going to be uh, so if x is 500, I'm going to just uh, find that first. So we have uh, if it's 500, right, so base charge is seven dollars. And uh, 0 0.05 is the five, first 500, uh, 500 rate. So if it's 500, uh, that's going to be, let's see, I'm going to use uh, two zeros to move the decimal point two notches. So it's a 5 times 5 is 25 plus 7. So it's a 32. All right? So uh, first 500, it's going to be $32. So uh, for the next uh, uh, over 500, so $32 is going to be there, right? And then the rate is actually higher, uh, 0 0.08, uh, which, uh, which comes from here, over 500. So it's going to be, uh, so X minus, 500. So this is the uh, uh, part of uh, x that, that's over 500. So if um, uh, x is uh, greater than 500. All right, so let's uh, simplify this guy. So I'm going to just uh, go ahead and simplify that. So it's a 32 plus all right, I'm going to distribute uh, uh, 0 0.08 to uh, x. So you have a 0 0.08x. All right, then distribute this guy to uh, 500. So let's see, again, same thing. Uh, uh, use uh, two zeros to move the decimal point. So you have 8 times 5, so it's a 40. So it's going to be minus 40. Alright, so this is going to simplify to uh, 0 0.08x, 32 minus 40 is minus 8. Alright, so uh, let's type it in. Alright, so for the first 500, uh, we came up with uh, 7 uh, plus 0.05x. Alright. For the, um, the over 500, we came up with uh, 0.08x minus 8. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, uh, we got part A correctly. All right, then uh, we want to uh, uh, find the correct graph. All right, so remember that uh, uh, at the 500, uh, the value was, uh, I have to look up, so value was 32. Let's check that and see. All right, 32 at 500, uh, 32. So this looks okay. At 500, so the C is not going to be right because at, uh, let's see, this is 300, 400, 500. This is over 40, so that's not going to be it. 
and the B uh, at 500 it's not uh, it's not even 30 and at 500 here right uh, this one uh, looks promising so it's either A or D right then at 500 you you change um, uh, slope so slope is going to be higher after 500 because slope for the second one is 0 0.08 and slope for the first one is 0 0.05 so it should get steeper so this one looks uh, right because you have this slope and it gets a little bit steeper after 500 and here it's got some weird thing going it's not actually straight for the first 500 uh, which is not right so uh, it's got to be part A alright let's check the answer all right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.